let's look at one sample strategic decision that a company could uh, like Domino's could make apart from these financial ratios now let's say this year the you know the domino ceo says i want to i think domino's should borrow rupees 300 crores to uh to borrow 300 crores in the year 2011 in order so that we can expand and open 100 new stores okay we just assume that it's going to cost uh, i don't know two and a half crores or something to you know uh, three crores to open a, a store okay so we're going to borrow 300 crores we did we just did an ipo we can't go to sell shares and raise money again so we're going to borrow 300 crores and roughly you know corporate income taxes uh, uh sorry corporate interest rates i don't know it's probably about 15 percent interest rate yeah so 15 percent interest rate on 300 crores that's a yearly interest bill of 45 crores 45 crores a year of interest now how will the dominoes board of directors and shareholders make a decision on should they borrow this money they need this money how will they make a decision should they borrow this money or should they issue shares to get this money we'll go into the technicalities of this later but for this purpose let's focus on uh, how they'll do it they'll say okay hey we already spend five crores eight crores and you know another eight crores every year on our interest expense if we were all of a sudden going to pay another 45 crores as expense interest expense we don't have that much money if we do that we will become a net income negative company this will all become red if that happens and what happens if this happens our share price will go down if if our net income goes red our share price will drop like a rock and that sounds poetic but that's what's going to happen if a company that has a positive net income so long if they made a stupid decision by going and borrowing so much money with so much more interest expense especially in a market like this uh, their share price is going to drop because net income is the amount of money that the shareholders take home that's the money the shareholders get if that is negative that means the shareholders are not getting any money so why should they pay i think domino's uh, share price is about 800 rupees a share why would they pay that they would probably drop it down to like 300 rupees a share and and that actually brings up an interesting point but you know uh, jubilant foodworks or domino's is probably one of india's most amazing uh, food retail success stories and probably the only uh, food retail company that's listed on the stock market so let's if you go here to google finance you will see that this is domino's their market capitalization that is the value of the company is 57 billion rupees that actually is basically is 5700 crores 57 billion rupees is 5700 crores and that's roughly about what it's roughly about a billion 1.3 billion dollars that is just the Indian arm of Domino's. Domino's is a worldwide company. Just the Indian franchisee is worth $1.2 billion. Go look at the main company, Domino's. That company is actually valued at uh, $1.7 billion, or just a little more than how much uh, this uh, this company is uh, valued at. And that's that's... So uh, that, that, that's pretty interesting, right? That the Indian Domino's is actually, which is probably 10% of the global Domino's, is actually valued almost the same as the global company uh, Domino's, $1.2 billion, $1.7 billion. And the reason that's happening in this case is because the, uh, the, the American parent company, they, they have a huge amount of debt. I mean, the, the company got sold to a private equity company. They put a lot of debt on it. So that company has a lot of debt. So which is why we examine the reason, right? Because that company has a lot of debt, uh, the amount, they have a lot of interest expense. Because of that, the shareholders get only very little money. So they're valuing that company at a significant discount. Whereas this company has got very little debt, very little interest expense. And so they're valuing this company uh 
you know, fairly high. And also in India, pizza is a growth story. So this company is going significantly. Look at that, 33%, 50%. I suspect that Domino's worldwide is probably only growing at 10% or 12% or any, any of those uh, numbers. Uh, so there you go. Now you realize why you went through an income statement, the different components of it, uh, the different financial ratios and what kind of decisions are made in a company using uh, an income statement and its ratios. And hopefully you're comfortable with that right now.